As you can see, VRChat has released their new update on adding easy anti-cheat to VRChat. Now, you can no longer use mods for VRChat until somebody comes up with a public bypass for the game. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly get rid of Melon Loader and all of its mods and just, you know, properly scrub the game so you can play VRChat again without any detections from easy anti-cheat. You won't get banned if there's any detections, but the game will not allow you to run it if it detects anything. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to your Steam library. You're going to want to right click on VRChat. You're going to go over to manage, browse local files. Now this is your whole VRChat folder here, um, install folder. Now you're not going to have probably nearly amount of folders that I have. I've ran a lot of clients for video purposes, so um, ignore that. But um, the easiest way to get rid of it is just to go to common here. And actually, before you do that, I would suggest go in here, go to manage, uninstall the game, and then go over to common, and then you see you have VR chat here. So what I would do is I would delete this, delete the VR chat folder. Now, if you didn't open this window before installing it, that's fine. Go to your VR chat install directory. So we're going to go to local disk C. Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Now, you're going to have a folder that says VRChat. I already deleted it, so that's fine. Um, so just make sure your VRChat folder is totally gone out of here. And then the next thing that I would suggest doing is uh, hold Windows key on your keyboard and R. So Windows and R. You can also click this, type in Run, and then click on that. Type in app data, OK, go to local low, and you could also just delete the VR chat folder. What this will do is it'll totally clear out your VR chat cache. So all of the worlds that you have downloaded loading into and avatars that you've loaded will totally be cleared from your cache. This might also, you know, wipe out any settings saved from any toggles on your avatar. So like if your shirt was toggled off, you might have to re-toggle it off. That's okay though, you know, you could do that. It doesn't break anything. This just clears your cache. Um, after you do that, that's pretty much all you have to do to make sure VRChat is totally ahead and, you know, install the game again and you should be good to go. Hope this helped you guys and I will see you guys in the next video.